Welcome back everybody to RimWorld. Today I want to commit some serious war crimes. I've got a kind of plan in action here. So so this area is all a massive biohazard, right? We've got the alien fungus, which I'm not going to spoil what happens. For those of you who've seen Prometheus, you might have a vague idea. Uh, but there's of course the alien nest up here as well. I'm thinking this would be a really good area to divert all of our enemies to. Who needs to build a kill box when you have nature's kill box in the form of aliens? So what we're going to do is harvest up like a load of wood or stone bricks, whatever is cheaper and easy. And we're going to build a shitload of walls to divert enemies through this area area. We're going to have to plan it out very, very carefully, and it's going to take quite a long time to make sure we get all the map edges. Um, if enemies spawn in here, there's nothing we can do about that, but of course, down here we can... Uh, here's what I'm thinking, right? I'll sort of briefly plan it out here. So we need to... Let's say they, they spawn down here. We need to corral them around this corner. What I'm going to do is just corral them ar around the map edge, basically. We're going to build the world's biggest wall right now. We're going to keep them to the map edge. We'll probably send them up through that little area there, uh, just to use... You know, I don't want to spend ages building this thing. We might as well use some of what we've been given here. Build a wall across there. Build a wall across there. Send them across the river. Build a wall across there. That way, if any raid spawns in, they have to go up through here. And then what we'll do is we'll build another wall across, like, uh, this zone, for example. Dig a hole through here and let them run up through there. And then we'll, we'll get as close as we can to that fungus by building a wall there. That way, all the enemies have to go through the fungus or through the alien nest to get to us. If they spawn up here, they're already in the dead zone. That's the plan. That's what we're going to try and do today. Now, this base is not going to be a permanent base. Like I said, it's going to be a temporary little thing just so they don't go on mental breakdown so that we can go out and raid elsewhere so that we can go and hunt down those alien hives if and when they spawn in so that we can go to the human cities, kill them for the technology we need when that occurs. This is just meant to be a base whereby we can send our unblooded from the spaceship to to somewhere relatively safe so they can start their hunt. We don't want to be just dropping onto a random map square and starving to death because we're playing on Randy Random, for example, or immediately be hit, up, hit by the plague or something like that. I want a nice, not a massively complicated base. We'll stick to, like I said, we'll stick to wood. We'll just have a basic stockpile. I, I want to build a nutrient paste dispenser. That was suggested in the comment section yesterday. Great idea, by the way. So that's why I've started to plan out this area. We'll put a nutrient paste dispenser down to make up for the fact that all our cooks are shit, and we'll just live a very sort of ascetic, basic life, just ensuring that their recreation needs are met and their food and bed needs are met. Outside of that, though, I'm not going to go crazy with it at all, just as long as they're staying relatively in the green. Now, I've let a little bit of time tick since yesterday, as you can tell. I've built up some of the floors here, but basically nothing happened of any use. Uh, you're probably wondering why Spartan is still damaged, given that I let more time tick. He went on yet another murderous rage. So all that happened is he went on a murderous rage. Oh, th there it is. He went on a murderous rage not so long ago. Second one in two days. And then he also uh, Wolf had a sad wonder, which is still on now. So thought we'd better kickstart things while we've really got nothing else to be doing right now. So that wall is going to be quite fun, I think, and it will allow for... We'll have to obviously dig something through there as well if we can do that that close to the map edge, not sure. Um, but yeah, this should be very, very fun, I think, to uh, to control the, the entire flow of the map like this. Now, we are going to be obviously quite susceptible to sappers in that scenario. As long as we make the wall sufficiently thick enough, they will run around rather than rather than dig through the walls, especially as long as we've got an area open so that the enemies can attack us there as well. So that is going to be the plan for today. Try and use the aliens to our advantage. That way we can also potentially get a hunt going as well. You know, chance to kill more xenomorphs, that type of thing, and uh, prove ourselves as blooded predators. Okay, that's a surprise. Uh, spoilers, but that's what the Black Fungus was going to do. So, it, it's from, uh, from Prometheus, if you guys have seen that movie. It's, uh, the, the little Black Fungus here is a sort of infection, basically, that causes Neomorphs to spawn. There's another one there, look. So, they must come from animals as well. I thought that only humans could be infected on that. Or maybe those bodies that landed from the ship chunks? I have no idea. But I guess that um, animals can also set off the fungus. If you walk too close to it, you'll be infected. And then those neomorphs will burst out of them. Very, very similar to the aliens. Very similar to the chest bursters. But I thought it was only humans that were affected by it. Given that there's obviously a shitload of animals over there. And none of them are, are particularly bothered. You know, there seems to be just random pigs running around there. Random wild boar. Okay, that's a problem. It's the little one that's attacking us right now. So obviously that's not an issue because it's a little one. We need to be careful then. We need to be very, very cautious if we're going to be fighting these things. Uh, the turret will hopefully take it down, but if not, we'll uh, we'll see if we can manually target it there. You little shit. Okay, that could be a real issue with these things are just going to keep spawning. How can we know if something's infected? Asthma? The, the, the boar has asthma. Okay. Um, we have to keep close on it, but look, there is just another Neomorph running around there. That one's three days old, so it's been around for ages. Oh, unless they just wandered in on the map edge. Well, they can't have, because then it wouldn't be a baby one, would it? I have no idea. I, I thought only humans could be infected by those, but I guess I've improved wrong there. Holy shit. Um, that Neomorph is very difficult to hit. Spartan, you need to be careful, because you are already almost dead. Um, should we melee attack it instead? Let's, let's go ahead and melee attack that one, just to be safe. Okay, take it down. Neomorph's attacking it. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, please. I don't know how strong the, the baby forms are. There we are. 
We're stabbing it with our with our bladed maul there. Oh, God, Spartan, I'm so sorry. They still have acidic blood, too, so we've got to be very, very careful here. Oh, my God, it's self-tending as well. They, they, like, regenerate over time. Look at that. 39%. Okay, it's dead. Um, Well, shit, that could be a problem, because even the baby ones are apparently really durable in that case. Okay, let's keep a close eye on the adult one, because that could cause some issues. Where did it go? Okay, there you are. Uh, another good excuse for building walls, then, is to also stop these bloody things that can apparently just spawn in. That's a bit worrying. Oh, god, yeah, a lot of the boars can get infected. While Boris Cups is riding around, something's wrong. It doesn't even show on the health conditions. A chest burster emerges from the gory mess, a little neomorph. Holy shit, so they- it doesn't even show that they get infected. So all of these boars are probably infected, then. We need a flamethrower or something, because that is not good. The issue is, how are we even supposed to get close enough to cut it? We can't. Those are just going to keep spawning in. Now, the good thing is the Neomorphs and the Xenomorphs will fight. So if any gets infected by a chestburster, they will fight these guys. And it's a bit of natural population control. But that's a bit of a concern because these guys are just going to keep hunting us. Fuck. Is that other one infected too? Let's keep a close eye on these damn wild boars. I imagine they're all probably infected. Christ, there we go. Okay. Um. Right, see, now this is a problem because Spartan's quite far away. And Spartan's also, if you haven't noticed, very weak right now. So let's get you away. It's only it's only another little one, too. It's the ones that seem to spawn in with the, uh, we shot off its tail. Wow. Um, with, with malnutrition. So I guess that one must have eaten an animal or something. The, the more adult one there. Oh, my God. No, two more have spawned in. It's just one thing after another with this fucking game. Obviously, yesterday we had the big thrombomorph thing that we had to have an epic showdown with. And now we're worrying about little neomorphs. My god, these predators can't catch prey, but that's the point. It's to prove that they're warriors, and this is a hell of a way to test it, huh? Gotta build a base and survive at the same time. Let's hunt that thing down. Don't let it escape. Kill the fucking thing. Um, where are you? Die. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, it's eating its, uh, other Neomorph body. Okay. Let's- uh, we gotta kill them quickly, too. You have to kind of out DPS it there as well, because it does, obviously, self-tend quite quickly. Come on, hurry up. Where's the other guy? Where's Shaman? Hurry up. T help me- help me kill this damn thing. Right, all of you, kill. We need, to, we need to keep the population controlled here, otherwise we basically just can't leave the house for fear of being hunted. Come on, you guys gotta be able to kill this thing. There we go, okay. Finish it off. Oh, take it out from range, because it's got the acidic blood. So let's be very careful about this. This is unreal. This is unreal. There we go. I mean, to be fair, it is fairly small, so I'll let them off with that one. Right, go about your business. My god, that is, uh, that is not fun if we're gonna have to be constantly juggling these things. Why did I say- <sighs> Please. Just piss off. Just go away. Spartan's almost home, so we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Oh, there we go. Um, we have to keep a close eye on the damn thing. So let's go to wildlife tab. Can, uh, do they count as wildlife? They don't count as wildlife. Uh, how are we supposed to keep track of them then? Okay. Um, I mean, they're very difficult to see unless they are grown up a little bit. So, hey, maybe we won't have to worry about them. Too. Obviously, we'll be notified when they are hunting us. We just have to be ready to react and take them out. I'm going to have them do everything in groups now. I'm going to make sure there's always a couple of them together, especially while Spartan is injured. We can't let him basically go out by himself, otherwise he is going to get killed. I know it sort of defeats the point of Predator requiring his friends to come and back him up. This is exactly why. Okay, there's the little Neomorph then. Birthday today. That one looks slightly larger though. Alright, um... Again, be careful. We've got the turret enabled, but for some reason it's not auto-targeting. I guess it only... Because it's a wild Predator, not actually an enemy. It's not an aggressive enemy or anything like that. The the turret probably only targets raiders or, or you know, the Xenomorphs, whatever is actively a threat to us. Probably insects as well. Okay, uh, Spartan, also squad up. Let's be careful here. Right, so start start shooting immediately. Uh, can we manually use the turret at all? Just just turret on and off, I think, is all we've got access to there. It's a shame. Okay, good luck. Um, it seems to be a little bit bigger now, so we might be able to hit it a little bit easier. 73%. Don't let it escape. Let, let's, let's make sure we chase this thing down. We are called predators, after all. Right, take it, take it out, boys. There we go. 39%. Turns out when they're larger, they're a lot easier to hit. Oh my god, there's way more than I realized. There's another one there as well. That's two days old. And there's this one, which is obviously four days. So that's the main one. My god, uh, I wonder how much health they gain at, uh, when they're fully grown. I wonder when they count as fully grown as well. Is there a way you can see that on the uh, Xenomorph leather? Yep, 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 yep. Um... Melee DPS is actually not too impressive, only 2.67 compared to the Thrombo Morph, which had 13, which is very similar to a base Thrombo. Um... It's the acid blood that I think we need to worry about, particularly if it does get in melee range. If we're damaging it in melee range, it's going to damage us back. So, just be very careful here. Two more left. So, this is one of the final ones, I think, unless there's another one. This, this might be another one I've missed. Why is it all the way down here? Maybe it ran right past us. Birthday today. This is another one. Fuck me. Okay. Um, I wish there was a way to track enemies actively in Rimworld. Obviously, you wouldn't really normally have to worry about this. So there's that one. Okay. And there was one that was two days old somewhere else. God knows where that one's gone. 
Uh, this guy should be fairly easy to deal with. Again, it's another large one, so let's, uh, they're only chopping wood right now, which, granted, we do need that so that we can build the base and obviously build our, our wall plan when we get up to that. Oh, great shot there. Holy shit. Nice work. All this practice is finally paying off. What is kind of annoying is that this fungus area is obviously spawning quite close to the edge of the map, so not only will raiders be hit by it, which could end up causing more problems for us. As long as we kill them young, they seem fairly, fairly manageable. But it means that animal herds always spawn in at the edge of the map, and they generally tend to stick around there too. Over time, they do, they do migrate, but for the most part, they stick to a certain area. The fact that this area is also massively closed off means that if we get herds of animals spawning up here, they're all just going to get infected and flip into near morphs, which is definitely an issue. Um... Okay, maybe they're... Oh, we need a way to... Maybe we can mortar it from a distance. Like incendiary shells we've got to deal with. If it's if it's fungus, it's a plant, right? So, well, you just assume so. So we should be able to... Attributes limited lifespan. Oh, maybe they won't last forever in that because it's like ambrosia groves. 200% fl flammability. Okay, we need to absolutely shell this thing with some, uh, with some shells from a distance. In fact, it might be worth for all of our future colonies having incendiary shells and a mortar just at the ready to deal with this. I think this is the last one then, and then we're kind of... No birthday today. That's another fresh one. Are you fucking kidding me? It's not like producing new ones, is it? Like the, like the big Neomorph is not is not splitting off like a strawberry or something, sending out little runners. Um, where is it? So there's the big one. That's the one that's five days old. We need to keep an eye on this. I have no idea where they're coming from because I've been, I've been sort of keeping a very close eye on the fungus itself, making sure that nothing has been infected. This one's just come out of nowhere. Birthday today as well. They can't just produce, can they, from the fungus? It's not like an insect hive where they just churn out fresh ones. Certainly fucking hope not. Okay, Wolf. Um, you are our best shot. You've got 15 shooting. You've got the spear rifle. You should be able to deal with this quite well. Okay, here it comes. Let's take it as it goes across the river. Look at the range on this fucking thing. My god, it's so good, isn't it? We've also got the turret on you. Is that hunting shaman? Oh, you're a fool, because hopefully the turret will retaliate now, then. We'll wait and see. The turret still doesn't retaliate after this. I have no clue what exactly drives that damn thing. Yeah, look at that. Nothing at all. Okay, maybe maybe we weren't in range. Maybe it's quite close range turret. Kind of defeats the point, but hey. Okay, make sure that damn thing's dead. Boom, there we go. Okay, they apparently grow quite fast, given that that's the one that we shot only a few hours previous. So, okay, there we go. Get to work, then. Let's get the last of this wood back, and we can finally finish off the base. I want to get some basic furniture in it. But after that, like I said, we're going to keep a very ascetic base here, just making sure that I'll smooth out the walls, potentially, to also keep them quite happy. Otherwise, they're going to obviously hate the environment. We should really stop wasting wood on torches, too. Let's remove those. Let's also remove the campfire. We've got enough power to have to have wall light, so I should probably just get that done as soon as possible, really. Should we smooth the walls, or should we waste some more wood? I think we'll smooth it. I, th I think that makes a lot more sense. Otherwise, we've got to waste a lot of time. Mining the only good miner is Wolf, who's also simultaneously the only good builder we've got. So let's get these walls smoothed out. I know that takes a very, very long time, but it's something they can just work on very slowly. You know, it's not it's not hyper, high priority or anything like that. But one thing I forgot to mention at the start of the episode that I will probably edit back in in hindsight is that the uh, thank you, thanks to our local incredible moderator, Sydney, the medieval pack is basically finished. Um, there's a couple of other tweaks I want to make. I specifically want to add some difficulty ones. So I recall there was a mod that made it so you had to process iron into steel and made iron into a usable thing as well which i think would suit it's basically going to be a low-tech fantasy wave-based survival rim of magic every, everything sort of thrown together to keep it low technology but hopefully it should be uh hopefully it should be a pretty interesting series so if for whatever reason you hate this series but are still watching it and uh however many minutes into the video just be just, just know that you know like i said it was always going to be a short one and the other mod pack is coming along very very nicely so it won't be much longer before that one is ready obviously i'm going to finish this one first i'm not just going to speak this one through because uh because another mod pack's ready that'd be dumb okay let's move our stockpile into there then because that's obviously lowering their mood quite heavily because all this counts as extremely hideous to just have shit lying around in your living room so let's go ahead and move those let's move all these walls damn quick though isn't he oh no visitors please be careful about where you walk what? that would suck if we had like visitors spawning in up here it's other predators hello for native native jungle clan predators People have, uh, whoa, this guy killed a thrombo. Very impressive. Oh my god, they can also take bionics. That's interesting to know. Blood mark by a mega sloth. So they're all blooded predators coming to see the unblooded, I guess. People have made a home here after they pass the trials. Very cool. Welcome, my friends. Um, don't know what we can do with you, really. It's a bit of a dump. I guess they're just coming to assess, you know, how powerful we are, our kills, the, the, the native sort of, uh, alien population, maybe. So I'm going to be using the invisible power conduit mod because the walls aren't ready and it's also in complete darkness, which is obviously going to make it take 10 times longer to smooth out. Uh, just so we can put some lamps down here. But for those of you, just for future reference, I remember I did some background building 
for an episode one day and people were saying, oh, you haven't put any power cables anywhere. That's why your power's not working. That was a completely different issue. But just for reference, I'm putting this down so you guys know that, uh, that all the rooms do actually have a power source to in there. There we go. Don't really need that going. And then we'll just run directly straight through the center of the room. Now, I guess because they, they don't provide negative beauty bonuses or anything, do they? No, I just wanted to double check that. Acid resistant, 0%. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize they added a separate category for that. So we've got to be very careful about where we kill aliens. Well, you know, kill them on, or if they die on top of a, a turret uh, power cable, for example, they're going to cut power to the whole thing. That's really cool. Obviously reminiscent very much of the first move where the alien blood cut through the uh, ship's hull. Speaking of cutting through the ship's hull with alien blood, I was thinking it'd be kind of cool as well if we could somehow find a way to take an alien egg. Bear in mind, you can reinstall them. Take an alien egg up to the ship for testing. Bear in mind, we have this kind of empty area now. What was the prison before it got airlocked? That'd be kind of cool. And the jungle clan left us a gift of 159 silver. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Wait, we have steel. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, there is steel up there, though. There's a... Uh, I, I didn't actually notice that was there. There's, there's obviously there's still this stuff to go, so we'll work on that in a second. You need to be able to mine. Um, ooh, I think I should cancel some of the wood designation. I did say a couple of episodes ago, it might have even been yesterday, that I don't want to over-designate the wood. Oh, they're actually finished with it now. Okay, that's fine. Then nothing to worry about. We do need plenty of wood, again, for the big wall plan that we've got going there so that the enemies are forced through the aliens if they want to come fight us. Provides a lot of defense, especially in Merciless, where we're going to struggle for a while before we can get some turrets. Our first trial. Excellent. Just what we needed. As if the Thrombomorph wasn't bad enough, we've now got a pack of manhunting monkeys. However, we survive. That's a lot of monkeys, to be fair. How many have we got? Nine monkeys. Can Wolf, the only person who's actually awake right now and not in a terrible mood, deal with the monkeys single-handedly? Um, you'd kind of fucking hope so, otherwise you'd be kind of a bad predator. What's he- so he's, he's one of the, uh, the elephant-blooded ones. Oh shit, we've also got to bury this. Oh, I didn't think predators would be bothered by a dead body, given, like, pr the movie Predators and all the other movies where predators kill other predators. That's a bit frustrating. Okay, uh, Mass Graves. I don't believe we have that mod, do we? No, it's a very low-tier, uh, sort of low-scope mod pack to keep it as difficult as possible without compromising too much of the base game. We have to dig a fucking grave for this enemy predator that tried to kill us dead. That's frustrating. Okay, put that spear gun to good use. We might need to flip to... Oh, God, he hasn't killed a single monkey yet. There's a bit of a concern. Uh, Shaman, we might need your help, friend. Oh, God, okay. Retreat. The monkeys, they're too strong. Retreat. Okay. Um, fuck me. How the hell has this gone so badly? He hasn't got a single monkey. What the hell are you doing, my man? Neomorph, no problem. You know, uh, 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 and, and, uh, the ultimate life form, a predator that, that breeds and, and destroys other beings as part of its life cycle. Yeah, nothing on a fucking monkey, apparently. My God. Okay, the turret's firing. There you go. So it must just be uh, any aggroed enemies there. Come on. Turret is a complete whiff as well. You're going to have to go for melee weapons, aren't we? Shit. Okay. Good luck. If we die to, mo if we die to a monkey pack, I'm going to be livid. I'm going to be absolutely livid. You see the turret also firing simultaneously with his attacks. Or firing uh, asynchronously, I should say, with his attacks. So, so it doesn't take up an attack slot or anything like that. Wow. They, they kind of bodied us, so I'll be honest with you. We've taken more damage from those monkeys than we did from any of the Neomorphs. That's ridiculous. Holy shit. Oh, a drought. Wow, that tree instantly died when that- Oh, look at that. Whoa. Holy shit. Every tree- I don't know if you can quite see that. I, uh, I don't know if the YouTube compression is going to keep that together. Every- Oh my god, if Wolf dies from a monkey bite, I'm going to be so annoyed. Every plant on the map is dying. This is why I said never farm, and I've just proved it right there. This is science. Oh my god, okay. Well, will it kill off the fungus? That's the important question. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very- I think it is. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Uh, I don't believe it is. Oh, shit. That's so annoying if it's not. It counts as a plant, because it says cut plant, so maybe they are dying off. Maybe it's just the plants around them? I'll let you know if I notice a, a fungus die from this. Luckily, the predators have a decent immunity, so even though it's a 35% spread on the infection and a really terrible tend quality, he's up 50% immunity already, and that's bearing in mind that he is up and working as well in the darkness. So I think we should be good. Um, I'd like you to, if you could not build the walls until we've got the mining done. I think that's a safer idea. Um, just because it's going to take him 10 times as long if he's doing it in the darkness. Let's go and get the steel first before we... Or fucking don't. What? What does smoothing wall account as if not construction? Okay, never mind. I'll just manually... I'm, I'll manually juggle these jobs for a minute. We'll, we'll min-max things or not. Oh, fucking come on. He was just about to... <sighs> All right, you go mine it instead then. What are you doing right now? Fishing. Nah, you're on mining too. This is this is more important. Oh, yikes. Actually, this is going to be close. 64%, 82%. But look at the infections going up faster than the immunity. 
Oh, is it? Oh, it's kind of hard to tell. They look like they're probably going up around the same level. I think the immunity is actually slightly faster there. Yeah, we're good. We're absolutely fine. Wow, that was close, though. I mean, it's 75%. We almost got it to an extreme level of infection from a monkey bite. That would have been a tragic way for any predator to die. Although, it's, it's, I mean, the predators are social Darwinists, right? You don't get a place in society until you've killed off something and proven your, proven your worth. That's fine. If a monkey kills him, it shows that he was not worth keeping alive. Stop. I need to work out what smooth wall is, because it's a ridiculous wolf. You are... I mean, what the fuck could it be? Mining is level one priority. It's not harvest. It's not hunt. Maybe it's basic. Does it count as basic? No. Okay, fuck this. I'm just gonna have I'm just gonna manually go and tell him to do this. There we go. Lights are on. Okay, I thought I'd prioritize getting that done the second we got enough steel just so that they weren't constantly working in the dark and being constantly sad because they're in darkness. Probably wasn't. I should have done that much, much earlier. That was definitely not helping out with their moods there. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got some features dealt with. We still need recreation done as soon as possible. So whatever we've got enough resources for, let's just expand some of these categories here. So we've got uh, 47, 47 components, I guess, from all those ship chunks that fell from space yesterday, right? And then we've got 21 uh, steel. So we definitely need way, way more steel. Although we've got a lot of steel just kicking around there. Okay. Um, we've built ourselves a modern computer. So a lot of you were saying this doesn't make much sense. They're predators. Why have they got a computer? I saw there was a comment section yesterday. It's like they're, they're eating sushi and playing on computers or something like that. It's like, okay, they're advanced technology creatures. They probably need to communicate with the mothership or something like that, huh? This is to show that they're doing quite well. They need to communicate and, and update them on their journeys or something like that. Look, it's remote. You gotta, you gotta give it some credit. I'm sick of all this food poisoning scar died what do you mean scar died uh oh my god predators turn up they've been hunted by a neomorph oh it's the big neomorph the one that's seven days old oh shit okay um two predators couldn't kill that you're kidding me shit that could be a problem uh i'm, I'm gonna go and hunt this thing i think we're gonna go and kill this like right now because that could be extremely dangerous otherwise holy fuck the fact that it ran all the way across the map to eat a predator's head is a bit worrying all right here we are um, let's get behind some rocks and let's, uh, let's kill this fucking thing. Actually, we'll go with the maximum range of the spear guns, however far that is. God, there's so many dead bodies. That's probably affecting their mood as well. Shit, I never considered that. Okay, I didn't realize human dead bodies also upset them. These predators are little bitches, aren't they? Okay, take it down. I'm kind of hoping it will go revenge so the turret will kick in. Or I'm kind of... Oh. That was a bit disappointing. Okay, never mind then. Go about your business. Done. The great hunt is over. No, don't touch it. Leave it. It's full of acid. Right, for now, we're only eating nutrient paste. I'm, I'm sick of the food poisoning. It's actually affecting their mood quite heavily along with all the dead bodies and the darkness and this place looking like complete shit and the cave walls and everything else. This is a horrible idea. This was a horrible idea. We should have picked a nice plane to build a base from fresh. Then we wouldn't also have to deal with goddamn aliens all the time. Right, let's also get these floors done again as soon as possible. Right, okay. That's that should do it. I don't think you need to actually place it under nutrient. I don't think you even can place it under nutrient paste dispensers, can you? Okay, there we go. Uh, the wall smoothing is going okay. We've done sort of weird bits here and there. It's not super high priority, I will admit, but I do want this base to not drive them mad all the time. Oh. <gasps> I never even thought about infestation shit. Okay. Um, giant insects. Are they... The question is, are they going to be regular in Rimworld insects, or are they potentially going to be xenomorphs following the following the alien versus predator trend? Oh god! Oh my sh! What are, what is wrong with you? I left on the better inf the the stronger infestations mod, so they get a queen, they get workers, shit, and they're in our stockpile. There's two of them as well. Okay, this this was my bad. This was completely my fault, uh, as if we didn't have enough difficulty already. I'm an idiot and left on some of the difficulty ones we had from last series. Okay, uh, brace yourself. This is going to be... Are they moving... Stop moving my stuff around. You're... Put that down. That's not yours. He's got my wood. Hey, put that back. What the fuck? They're moving all the stuff out. I've never seen that before. Okay, um, should we focus on the queen, maybe? Uh, oh my god, okay. Um, well, the queen seems to be taking a fair amount of damage here. Let's try and kill that one. There we go, good work. And then we'll focus on this one next. Oh god, be, please be careful, don't shoot one another. Right, you move down here. Uh, get you attacking that one. Wolf, let's flip you over to the Xenomorph. Spear. Oh god, this is horrible. This is horrible. I mean, to be fair, we're doing better than the monkeys. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Shaman is down. Oh, Shaman's back up again. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm being very careful about how we how we treat this one. Go get yourself self-tended. I mean, I'm pretty sure he can self-tend, can't he? Uh, yeah, he's set to. Right, draft, undraft, self-tend. No? What? Excuse me. Why can't he self-tend? I mean, self-tending is turned on. He's also our best doctor here. Self-tend. No, not letting me. Okay, fine. Uh, go to bed? 
then South Tend. There we go. Okay, of course, he had to go to bed first. Silly me. What am I talking about? Weird game. Okay, let's get, let's get these guns equipped to go clear out this cave then. Is that all of them? Oh, that was it. Okay, good. I can't believe they reorganized my stockpile like that, damn it. This guy doesn't die of an infection. I will be incredibly impressed given that these we're getting consistent 0% quality tended. We'll build him a bedroom though because, you know, I'm, I'm kind like that. Okay, so that owner and shaman. There we go. So that just might help him out a little bit. I'm actually going to increase the bed rest because this is unreal. No, what the f... Did I say Spartan, not Shaman? That's my bad. Sorry. Reassign. Get the fuck out of here. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, so much for the better rest hub. That's understandable, given the amount of pain that he was in there. My god. Um, maybe I should take off some of this tattered armor. It would help out a little bit when we are struggling with mood to this extent as well. Christ. Okay, he's on the floor. Go go to bed. Tending to Oh, he's gonna tend to Spartan first. Right, that's why he came over here. Sleeping sickness on top of everything else. Randy, you are a you are a prick. Right, let's get this guy to bed. Please heal up. Please don't die on me here. Caravan animals. Hmm. I mean, Spartan's up. He might have sleeping sickness, but he's up. Uh, do you fancy a hunt? If you kill these, we might be okay. Who the fuck is Big Red? Oh, it's on the ship. Let's kill him. Let's kill him and see what we get out of this. Okay, there's one down. Uh, does that mean we got nothing? He's got a bionic spine. Oh, hello. We haven't already got a doctor capable of installing that unless we can take a shuttle pod back to the spaceship. What have you got on you? Cloth toque. Boring. Terrible. Kill this one. Okay, can we see what that one's got? Flat pants. Flat pants will do. Take him down. Good work. And we also got spaceship chunks. Hey, very nice. Oh, or not. Okay, it's in the curse zone that we are never going to visit. Okay, well, that was a bit of a waste of time, I'll be honest with you. I was kind of for a little more than that, but we will take them back to base to get them butchered as soon as possible. Blessed cargo pods. Blessed cargo pods. We had cargo pods of... Well, we had two lots. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, what was this one then? Oh, that was this one. What was this one? Uh, flake. M mountains of tasty, tasty flake. Okay, what does flake do for us? That's the one that just gives you... Flake is known for destroying lives, communities, and... Okay, so it's meth. Not really interested in the meth. The, the medicine, though, assuming it works on predators, unless they have their own specialist type of uh, medicine there, we'll get those back, because that is incredibly good, especially when a lot of people are dying like this. Oh my god, the queen counted as higher than the elephant. I didn't even bloody notice. Shit. Um, how do I get him to... How do I get him to blood himself, then? Hang on. Cancel. Cancel. Uh, that, that, by the way, wasn't the queen that we were after. Cannot pick up. Consume? Protoss hauling? Why can't I get him to blood himself, though? Okay, needs. Unblooded queen. I need to prove myself. What? Crusher queen. So he got blooded, and his is automatically upgraded. Crusher queen. Yeah. So queen counts as, I prove myself, I mark myself with his blood, I feel amazing. That's plus 13. Nowhere near a thumb remorse. But this guy can't blood with it. Oh, that's annoying. Despite the fact they actually did kill one, apparently. Um, but did I just miss the window for it, maybe? Oh, that would really suck. Okay, my bad. Um, he actually did hunt... A, I, I don't think that's completely my fault. It might be something to do with all these modded animals, but that's... Uh, oh, weapon... More bloody cargo pods, Randy. <gasps> a fucking... Wait, minigun turret? That's clearly a charge rifle. What the hell is a minigun turret? Automatic gun made to be mounted on a turret. Get it home. What's this one? I, I, I was going to say, I assume it's a club, but it's a club made of solid silver. Okay. That should save us a little bit of time when we do go out to build the major wall as well. Uh, whenever whenever these guys have, have sort of dealt with their mood problems a little bit here. I've been trying to manage it a little bit in the background too. So I've um, I've removed some of the gear. I've left Shaman with the, the actual chest plate because that has a lot of defensive properties, but the masks weren't much of an upgrade. So I've unequipped the tainted masks and I've got Wolf re equipped with his chest plate that he started with rather than the elite hunter chest plate just because it's it's untainted it's going to keep them a little bit happier and that's at the end of the day what's going to keep the colony running so i've started to bridge across this as well just to save some time there but unfortunately because of the amount of freaking near morphs attacks today things have gone very very slowly almost all the fungus has gone though to be fair i guess it's when it when it uses its uh it, it's infection or however you want to phrase it um I'm not entirely sure, but the drought certainly didn't kill it off. Okay. Uh, so, so who were they hunting again? Was it Wolf? Uh, good luck with that one. Okay. You know, Wolf, squad up. Come and stand on the bridge and let's kill this damn thing. There it is. Neomorph. Uh, oh, is he actually after someone else? Or is he after Shaman? Definitely not after Shaman. Spartan's asleep as well. Good luck. Um, oh, there's two of them. Hunting Tortoise. Hunting Wolf. Uh, okay. <laughs> Imagine if we had a predator called Tortoise. Was just... Okay. I, I thought for, for a second then, for some reason, my brain completely gave up and I thought he was hunting a wolf rather than our guy called Wolf, despite the fact that I literally just drafted Wolf. Anyway, back off a little bit. Back off a little bit. Run, run, run. Okay. 
There we go. Got to be careful. We don't let these guys get too close here. All right, see if we can base it across some rocks or through a bit more of a bit more of a difficult terrain for it to manage. There right, you go. Keep keep shooting. Never stop. No, don't shoot the floor. Shoot the enemy. Come on, you can hit this by now. We've had so much practice. Oh, for fuck. Okay, bear with. It's going to be another thrombomorph scenario, I think. Apparently, our guys have forgotten how to shoot because they've had about two hours of not doing it. I just... Can I just let this guy die? He's actually more inconvenient than not having him here. It would be less of an effort for this base if we would just chuck him in the river. Because he's he's got the depressive trait, which means he's constantly upset. He's got the uh, he's got the unblooded uh, uh, trait as well, which is fucking him up. He's got muscle parasites, which means he can't do anything, and that's also causing serious pain. And he's got the minus five from that as well. He's recreation deprived because he can't fucking move, so he's got muscle parasites. Awful bedroom, cabin fever because he can't leave the base. I cannot do anything for you. Just let him die. If he goes out on a Neomorph, hunts him to death, not going to lose any sleep over it. In fact, I will cheer and I will celebrate because this episode has gone so slowly thanks to this fucking guy not pulling his weight. I'm going to send Dark or Big Red or someone, anyone who can help out here because that guy is shit. He's absolutely awful. You don't deserve to be blooded. Goodbye. Welcome, Dark. Join us. Join us at the colony because this guy's... Can I send him back? Should I send the other guy back? You know what? you got to prove yourself. You want to be blooded? Fucking prove it. The second he comes off that man's spray, I'm sending him into the nest. And he can go and prove that he deserves to be blooded. Because I'm sick of this guy. He's driving me fucking nuts. Is there a Neomorph around or somewhere that we could we could send him to fight? There's one. Three days old. Let's see if that will uh, let's see if that will be enough to make this... What are you fleeing from? What the hell are you fl fleeing from? What? I have no idea. Okay. Useful. <laughs> this person then. Uh, let's check the stats. Good at good at crafting. Oh my god, insanely good at crafting. Right, congratulations. You're on a new crafter. Let's drop this person. Oh no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong person there. Um, right, so let's go ahead and cancel all these out then and turn those up to maximum. There we are. So we've got ourselves a new crafter. Not gonna be super relevant, I imagine, at this stage of the game, but we'll uh, we'll sort of see how things go. Why would I ever put points in drugs? I guess I just didn't take points out of it previously. Uh, so dark then, plant cutting, top priority, harvesting, growing. I think we'll just turn that down a little bit. I don't think we're ever really going to do that ever. You know, I'll drop both of those right to the bottom there. Um, also good at building too. Hey, that's pretty good. So we've got someone to actually help out with all the smoothing work that we need doing. Okay, Spartan, let's let's go and let's go and make him useful. You know what? He, he's so upset all the time because he's unblooded. We'll go and fix that for him. And if he dies in battle, he dies in battle. That's probably the most useful. I'm, I'm genuinely so annoyed by this fucking guy because he's held back everything. Right, there's a the Neomorph. Kill it dead. Oh, there's two actually. Four days. That one's four days as well. Kill them both. Kill them both. Prove yourself to be the hunter that you think you are. I don't think that counts at all, does it? Because they're just not retaliating. Does that count as something he can... He can. He can be blooded by that. There you go. Problem solved then. You're fine, you fool. Right, Mark Self was blooded. Boom. Uh, was that particularly impressive, though? Uh, Neomar. Four points. No, it wasn't very good at all, was it? We should kill an elephant because that would, uh, that would actually be something more useful. There's also rhinos, which I assume would be better than an elephant, potentially. Um, we could go and hunt an elephant. Let's just hope that... What the hell is that? Oh, rice? Yeah, we don't really want the rice. Shame there's no xenomorphs kicking around, because I imagine those would be quite valuable as well. There you go. You're blooded. Stop complaining. We'll try an elephant too, so that uh, so that might... Oh, there's a mad boomalope. Maybe maybe that will do it. Maybe that will blood him. Um, where is that mad boomalope? It's down there. Uh, you're going to be okay? You're going to be able to deal with that, friend? You're going to be... I'm, I'm going to have to manually sort of help out with that. Don't blow it up on the bridge for fuck's sake. Okay, where's it going? Uh, okay, there it is. Nice. Well done. Holy shit, right, now we need to take it out from a distance. So, take some pot shots. Absolutely incredible. Stunning display of predatory behavior there. Right, Spartan. Let's try and take out an elephant without aggroing the whole pack. Can we do that? Refugee chased a hunter camp. Uh, a machine collector named Harding. Six archers. Nah, we're going to ignore that one. Fuck it. They're, they're, not, they're not an unblooded predator, so why the hell would we care, realistically? Come on, take him out. Take him out from a distance without uh, even aggroing it at all. That way, it doesn't really count as being blooded, though. Or at least it shouldn't. Oh, my God. They've actually done it. There you go. Finish off the elephant. Boom. And then use the elephant to mark self as blooded. There you go. Are you happy now, you big complainer? Six points. Done. So, no, I, I should say that it's actually much, much better than that. That's plus 17 to his mood. Bear in mind that it was given a minus 10 before. That actually might now make him into a useful character. Bring a trophy home. Don't just leave it behind. There you go. Show everyone. Show everyone that you're finally blooded. I might also send Dark out to do the same thing as well. Um, is it is it good sport to hunt an elephant with a plasma pistol? We'll wait for actually. What's the range on the compound bow? I might take take the steel the the, the spear gun off of 
off of Spartan for a second. Go ahead and chuck that on the floor. And then we'll give that to Dark, who can also go and get themselves blooded. Uh, and it's, again, this is not the end game goal. We want to kill the most... I, I don't know what would give the highest points in terms of blooding. I still assume it'd be an alien queen. Um, if it's a thrombomorph, we'll have to send Shaman home, because there's nothing else he can do at that stage. Right, take it out from a distance. Avoid aggroing the rest of the pack. Are there any that we've got some... That one we've already got a pot shot on, so this one should be quite easy to finish off there. Okay, while it's sleeping. Perfect. Just the way a predator should pass his trials. Shit. Okay, well, this one's gone in revenge mode, but that's kind of what we want, right? Done. Boom, look at that. Dark already better than Spartan. Very nice work. Okay, shit. That's going to help us so much. My God. Haul it back. We still need something a bit more impressive than that, because that's kind of pathetic, isn't it? To shoot an elephant while it sleeps. Well, thank you all for watching. Not as much progress as I wanted to get today, but the, the constant attack from the Neomorphs really did slow things down quite massively, because we had to be very careful about how we were playing. Spartan being a big bitch. I mean, the muscle parasites, to be fair, aren't really his fault. A lot of mood management has gone on. I think this was a bullet that we definitely need to bite because now everything's good. They've got a little bit of recreation. They've got a table to eat their meals on. Them. We've got constant meals coming in via the nutrient paste dispenser. We're kind of in a good place now. We don't need to worry about so much massive building projects. I still want to build this ward just to see when raiders turn up, just to watch them get face hugged to death. I think will be incredibly fun. So we will start work on that tomorrow because now we really have nothing else to do besides dig a bedroom out, which I will let them do in between episodes as long as nothing important happens, obviously. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless. Big thank you to the insane top tier level patrons making the series possible in the first place. I think I have once again got the Patreon list up to date. Please let me know if you are missing from any of these and I'll get that fixed as soon as possible. Thanks to Alchemia, Anthony Gulley, Sinecura, so at Moses, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Balik Stromba, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croces, Chris, Derek, DKO, Donald, Fakuna Vasquez, Gogolas, Harik, Karen McGowan, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Nostros, Necrofelon, Odie, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Scans. Slippy Nips, Somnus, Shay, The One Ring, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Bacchus Backers, Faragon, and William Green. Thank you all for your support, the Insanity Lovers on Patreon. If you guys want to chuck me some predator names, feel free. I will, uh, I'll, I'll get the predator names in, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and ask in the Discord chat right after I finish this one, because I think we should probably rename some of these guys. Wolf and Shaman is fine and everything, but I want something a bit more, you know, I want something a bit more of an attachment to them. I want it so that if they die, I will feel a twinge of pain because right now I'm not fully committed to them. If they were named like Keith, for example, I feel a bit more sad because that's a human name. Thank you as well to the following patrons, including Uwu Daddy, Astro, Anna Person, Adrian Ellison, Alex Bogard, Aiden M, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Astro, Attila, Betamus Max, Better Balurian, Blood for the Blood God, Brittany Lee, Boyne Gun, Chris, Corgi Circus, Dapper Go, Derek F, Don, Dong Honey Two and Seven, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerko, Gothamo, Grey, Haji Dumar, I am Sagatair, I see the Great, Irotha, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jibus Crossed, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, Job's Lucky Sister, Jelly Bondle, Joseph. Beard, Justin Rules, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Kevin Saunders, Kane GB, Lepus, Layla, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosic, Martin J, Mastolp, Monty, Mosi Sampson, Munda Difflin, My Name Isn't Dio, Nathaniel Lundberg, Nick, Olivia Kaiser, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Peyton Denisar, Kamar Ishmael, Ryan Ace, Russian Oligar Millionaire, Brian Hooper, Sam Kier, Scaps, Shardul, Smirtworm, Silkworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super 9089, Sweet Tea, Talar, Tony Laban, Volta, Voodoo Mumbo, Void Prince Cuba, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Wolfie, Yellow Four, Yorker, Zack, and Zetlock 2. Thank you guys all for your support over at Patreon. See you all tomorrow for. Hopefully some goddamn progress without Neomorphs and Thrombomorphs and everything go wrong for once.